Hello dearies, remember I said I was gonna spoil you with two shits and giggles for the 50 subscriber one? Yes! We're doing a senpai one now, lol lol lo, funny funny. You decide if you push against the crowds of people. We ain't discriminating. Their voices screaming for senpai. The guys that can make the girls, the boys, and the non binaries trip over their own feet. You walked, you walked up to that, walked up to the other day, but I do your homework, and I'm a good person, but you are. But then you had such a lot of, away from you, causing your, causing your eyes to make this, the ocean blue ones that belong to some part. Hello, Lion. You, ch you tried to, I was, oh, I was looking at your eyes, just go back to the paper. He found his eyebrows, strange indeed, some part. Senpai then placed his his head in his arm and rested on it. Oh come on, you can't glaze away from my handsomeness. You just continue writing num numbers and letters, ignoring his lovely lines. He felt a bubble grow inside him. You are not like the girl you are not like the people that fell deeply in love with them. You've been a long been throwing Harrison, what would you do if someone threw their clothes at you? Harrison's walking up the room, that's gonna be so scary because I feel like he's gonna kill himself a second time. Um, you like people that play hard to get. You'll play hard to get to get a kiss on your lips. No! You'll go for what they love from, from me. Four fictional men. You. You had some senpai and you heard the bell ring, you stood up and packed and walked towards your class. Well senpai followed along because he's a little dog. You sat down and he sat down beside you gla and glazed on your glazed your face or glared at your face. You can't help but he can't help but blush really because you're stunning. Because your face is charming, then you felt some hard hard hit your head, a paper. He opened it and snickered a giggle. A death threat from one of Senpai's girls. I'm not talking about the girl. After school, you had time. You looked at your desk and did the homework and went to bed. But your phone rang with a message from Senpai. And don't ask how he got your fucking number. It was just him. It was just him just telling you. Good night. Good night. Bye. You should discuss. As you saw the emotion he, the the emotion that he put on, but at the end, you you, you just flop your head down and relax your body. The sun, the sun rises from the night, and you covered your eyes from the beam of light hitting your face. You got out, dressed, and went to school. You you began, you began. Well, I'm about to end. You began you, before you entered the school. A taller girl blocked your way. So you're the, so you're the person Senpai was talking to, or talking about. Pathetic. You scored as you as she grabbed your collar, pulling her close to your face. The tension, <laughs> the sexual tension. But she smiled as her heart. As I bend into yours. That is some sexual tension. You two should be. I bet he just needs pity for you for being lonely. This is some hella sexual tension. These two should you and you and the skill should date Fox Empire. Sexual tension. She laughed as before you on the ground and the other females were laughing. You felt arms wrap around your frame. Fuck, Senpai, they that girl. You call me a whore. Sorry, 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 sorry. The sexual tension. It's gas powder. <gasps> a gas powder around the corner. Melt. Hit them again. Senpai said coldly, coldly because he's a simple. He's, as his, as his arms type. I was trying to remind you, the girl's backed off. Frightening as he 
hoist you up and give you a charming smile. <gasps> Why, are you okay? He thought. I like a stone, it was. It's going to be able to back up from you and scratch his head. He felt something trickling from his nose. Blood! He started to yell ye at him, saying it was his fault that the scald even happened. He felt tears. Then Stuart and I was trying to talk with you, but he just shot him off a red balloon. And stay there! Makes no sense, but. So, no, that night, Sampai takes a few apologies, but you just ignore the texts. Good lad. You just sighed, and laid in the bed, and slept through the subjects. You felt someone's hot breath in your face, and <gasps> causing you to open your... I... Causing you to snap your eyes open to see blue eyes. But they look crazed. Sampai giggled as his hand crushed your face. You should have dated that hot tall girl! You th you, you leaned back feeling the wetness of them. If you looked at his clothing, your blood, your blood ran stick of flesh. Your clothing was splattered with redness along his face and hands. You were trying. No. You were trying to comprehend what's going on, but then his voice started talking. I did it, Brian. Now my my blossom tree will never hurt you again. <gasps> Jonathan, that tall girl, I wanted to fight. Shoot, probably harder.